Hi, it's the Sharp Knife Woman. This weekend I was at Fort Laramie National Historic Site, which is near one of my favorite places to dig earth pigment paint. And so, as I was unloading my truck, I just decided to do this impromptu video showing you the paint before I put it away. Because so many people have asked me, um, what is it like? What is it? How does it come out of the ground? What is the consistency? And so forth. So, here we go. Now, I didn't film the getting of the paint because it was really getting dark that evening, so I apologize for that. But, as you can tell, I just took one of my brass buckets, lined it with a trash bag, and shoveled this in. Um, a lot of people ask me if it's clay, and yes, it does kind of look clay-like, although it's not really clay because it's mostly iron oxide. This is red ochre, and um, when you lift the bucket up, you see how heavy it is. In fact, this bucket is so heavy, I can hardly lift it myself. I had a forest or a park ranger help me lift it into my truck as we were loading up after my gig at the fort, and um, he commented that it was very difficult to lift as well. The way you can tell whether you've got the really good stuff is it's kind of slick. Yes, it feels like clay. No, it is not clay. The difference between this and clay is clay um, would just stay in a hunk, and this is rubbing off right onto my fingers, which is what you want. That's why it's good paint. Um, it is pretty much pure iron oxide, except for some of the twigs and <laughs> some of these uh, pine needles I'm going to have to sift out of there. But but for the most part, this, this paint here is ready to go. You just mix it with some hide glue and... Um, some water or you can use it dry and rub it on and it's good to go. It's also perfect on your skin as you can see my fingers are just a lovely uh, bronze red color. So anyway that's my earth pigment paint.